We are back with more My Southern Home, and I'm here with Annie Bender with HomePage Realty. Thanks for joining us today, Annie. Thanks for having me, Kimberly. Now, you have taken us today to this beautiful 1950s charming home off of Wolfpin Branch Road. It has everything, a wine cellar. It has a, a charming little bedroom upstairs. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, this house is about 5,800 square feet. There is about 900 square feet in the basement that's finished with about 919 unfinished, which is great for storage. And it's four bedrooms, four and a half baths, but this house has so much to it. It has a little potter shed that is meticulously clean and beautiful. It has an 1800 um, three stable barn that you could use um, for your horses or you could actually use it for additional entertaining. There's a mother suite, there's a large pool, a beautiful bubbling stream, koi ponds with actual lily pads with blooms on them. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you what this house has to offer. One of the nice things about this home is they really maximize the outdoor living area. It really is your own oasis when you're here because there's so much um, you know, outdoor living area with the large pool and all the ponds and all the little nooks and crannies outside that you can just kind of rest and read and entertain. I would, it's so true and it's it's perfectly set up as well to have guests here. It has everything that you could want if you were a guest. I'd love to be a guest here, <laughs> but it does. It has a beautiful um, art room as well above the garage that you could turn into a carriage house that is plumbed for another bathroom, which is perfect. Um, but they are definitely utilizing, as you said, every part that they can of the house to bring the outdoors in. And another special part about this house is that if you notice, they've mixed a lot of traditional artwork and just parts of the house with modern. So, and they've done it in a very easy flowing way, which is very difficult to do. I do have to say that the owner, is a designer, so I think she knew what she was doing when, when she got started on this house. She definitely did, and I love how you have this large entertaining living area that's beside the kitchen, but then off of it you have an area that could be, you know, it's its own living area or um, a large dining room. It really could be, and you know, and it's got the, the outside dining area as well and living space, so you can entertain outside with the babbling brook in the pool and all the little frogs that hop off the lily ponds. So, And you said that it's over four, a little over four acres here. It's 4.71 acres. Um, you really are in your own oasis here where you do not really see your neighbors at all, unless you want to, and which is lovely. And, and there's a lot of shading and it's great for, you know, to keep the electricity and to be a little bit more energy efficient with the house. And Wolfpin Branch Road is it's kind of out in the country. It's a wooded area, but it's so close to the summit. It it's is. close to a Kroger, a Target, all the amenities that you would need when living in a city such as Louisville. You are right by the expressway. As soon as you turn off of Wolfpin Branch Road, you're, you're right there. You're next to everything. Hospitals, like you said, shopping areas, some of the greatest restaurants. It's very centrally located. So give us the nuts and bolts of the house again, the square footage, the amount of bedrooms, those type of things. Sure, it's about 5,800 square feet total with including the finished basement with about an additional 919 square feet of unfinished in the basement, 4.71 acres, and it's going for $1.5 million, which is a bargain off of Penn Branch Road with all of this. So the additional structures that come with the home is this charming little barn that's built in the 1800s that's off the house. There's a chicken coop here. Oh my gosh, a tin chicken coop, but it's not really a coop, Kimberly. It's a chicken house. It is a it's chicken a house. It's a doll house. It's so precious. 
and the owner is an artist and she has a area just for her pottery. She does. And that's the area that's above the garage and it opens up to everything. You can literally walk outside from, from that area upstairs from the garage, but that is the area too that could be a carriage house and is plumbed for another bathroom. It's, it's huge, open, beautiful space that utilizes the sun. I mean, there's so many beautiful windows in here. So you do feel like, again, you have the outdoors inside. That's a really good point about this house as well as they've really taken the architecture of it and maximized the outdoor views here. Yes, they have, they have. And one more point that I definitely wanna make, the beautiful drive up to the house is stunning. It's very, very dreamy. So tell us about the really wonderful first floor master they have in this house. Oh, it's, it's quite special. It has a sitting area. So as you walk into the room, you have the sitting area without just going in, going straight into a room. So it's, it's quite lovely where you could sit and read a book and then go into your master bedroom that is beautiful. And the lower level is all decked out, complete with a wine cellar. Yes, it is such a sweet addition to the lower level. It's a beautiful wine cellar. It is just so cool. And, you know, there's also, it's great on the lower level because it, there's a great area, not that you have a pool house here, but it kind of acts as a pool house here. So you can just jump in the shower, you know, take your bathing suits off. Because you don't want to ruin these beautiful wood floors. That, no, that, that would be a sin. And one thing we haven't talked about yet that we have to is the media room upstairs. Oh my gosh, the media room is wonderful. It's perfectly placed because that is the one area that is probably the darkest area. So it's great for just entertaining, watching movies, and you know, having a, having a good day on a rainy day with some popcorn. Well, this was certainly a treat to be in this house today, Annie. Well, I appreciate you coming, Kimberly. We'll be back with more My Southern Home in just a moment.